are familiar with the different parts of roots and also different types of roots, now we will move on to the functions of roots. Predominantly there are uh, two types of functions which are very much important for a root that is anchorage and absorption. So, apart from that they do also possess other functions as well, but predominantly it is anchorage and absorption. What do you mean by anchorage? The root fixes the plant body firmly to the soil surface and it helps in the anchorage of the aerial parts of the plant body. Next is absorption. The roots helps in the absorption of water and nutrients, nutrients from the soil surface and it passes on the water and nutrients to the aerial surface or aerial parts of the plant body and that passing on that the procedure of passing on to the aerial parts of the plant body is called as translocation that is done by the conducting tissues present in the plant body that can be a xylem and phloem. So, apart from this it also it also binds the soil materials and helps in the uh, preventing the soil erosion. So, what are the main functions of root? One is anchorage, absorption, conduction or translocation and then it is it helps in the binding of soil prevent and prevents the soil erosion. Well, now you are familiar with the primary functions of the root. Now we will move on to the uh, another functions of root wherein the tap root and the adventitious roots have modified to perform the other, other functions apart from the normal functions. First, we will study how exactly the tap root system is modified to perform the other functions like predominantly the storage. For the storage, for the purpose of storage, the tap root is modified into modified into fusiform roots, conical roots, napiform roots and the tuberous roots. Fusiform roots are usually found in Raphanus sativus, conical roots are found in case of uh, carrot, napiform roots are found in beetroot, tuberous roots are found in case of Mirabilis jalapa. Apart from the tap root, the secondary and the tertiary roots are modified in case of leguminous plants. Uh, into a nodulated structures and they are called as nodulated roots. These leguminous plants do, do possess the nodules in the secondary and the tertiary roots and the bacteria called rhizobium resides in the nodules and this helps in the fixation of nitrogen from the soil. So, here in the nodulated roots of leguminous plants, the function is to fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere. So, the first function is storage by the taproot, they are modified into fusiform, conical, napiform and tuberous roots. Then the secondary and the tertiary roots are modified to form a nodulated structure wherein the bacterium rhizobium resides and helps in the fixation of nitrogen from the soil. Well, like that of the tap root system modified for the storage, even adventitious roots are modified for the purpose of storage. Let us see the modification in various plants and their names. So, first in Ipomea batatus, the adventitious roots are formed into tuber like structures in order to store the food material. Second, a fasciculated roots of dahlia, wherein the cluster of adventitious roots get swollen to uh, for the purpose of storage. Next, 
moniliform roots of bittergourd, vitis or portulaca wherein the adventitious roots appear in a beaded format and they store the food materials. Next nodulose roots of cucurma longa wherein the base, the base becomes swell, the base shows the swellings, the base of the root shows the swellings in order to storage, in order to store the food material. Apart from that, there are another roots called as annulated roots wherein the adventitious roots are modified in, in a ring formation or a ring like structure. This is seen in case of psychotria. Apart from the storage, adventitious roots are also modified for the purpose of mechanical support. You will be studying three different types of adventitious roots modified for the purpose of what is that mechanical support. So what are they? The first one is the stilt root. Stilt roots are usually seen in case of sugar cane wherein apart from the normal roots, the stilt, root, the stilt roots also develop from the stem part, from the upper nodal regions of the stem. They droop down and fix to the soil and help in the help in providing the mechanical support to the plant body. Coming to the next one, the prop roots. So these are seen in case of ficus bengalensis or otherwise called as banyan, wherein the plant body forms a thick canopy. The plant body spreads into a thick canopy and numerous adventitious roots develop from the branches of the roots and they droop down, they firmly fix to the soil and they provide mechanical support like that of a pillar. So such kind of roots are seen in case of banyan and they are called as prop roots. Now coming to another type of roots which aid in the mechanical support, they are clinging roots. Clinging roots are usually found in weak stem plants like pothos or beetle wherein uh, these weak stem plants in order for the support or the mechanical support clinging root or small root like structures develop from the nodal region and they help in the firm fixation of the weak stem plant to the another plant body uh, which is erect. So such kind of clinging roots are usually seen in case of pothos or beetle. Dear friends, new DVG YouTube channel subscribe Madi, Nima friends go heli, Ide Tara Nuraru videos and free agnodi.